Sarp Ripple could just expose this info, breaking rumors XRPV sec cases. The lawyer of the CEO of Ripple has submitted an application to resign from the position of the company's lawyer. Today, we will tell you why he did it. You can see the current price of excerpt on your screens with a daily trading volume of 648,452,340 dollars used. Excerp has declined by 3.2 in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. Please watch this video to the end, like it, and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. Also in this video, we will show the lucky winner of Give away free 500 XRP and maybe it will be you. So watch the video carefully until the end. According to the theory of technical analysis, it is believed that the triangle is a trend continuation figure. However, given that this is a descending triangle, not an ascending one, we can conclude that the probability of the continuation of the uptrend is not very high. If XRP breaks through the red line, then the price is likely to go up again. At the same time, the first target will be the level of 28 cents the previous peak from August 23. The second target is the 33 cents level, the top of June 20. The final goal will be the 42 cents mark, which was reached on May 17. At the moment, there has not been a real breakthrough of the red resistance line yet, and therefore it may be necessary to refrain from buying. Only on a real breakdown of the resistance Will the purchase transactions be justified? Cardinal co founder and former Ethereum co founder Charles Hoskinson, despite his promise to stop discussing XARP, nevertheless regularly continues to participate in Twitter battles with the XRP army, allowing himself all sorts of statements in the direction of the cryptocurrency and its community. Ripple could David Schwartz apparently couldn't stand it and recommended Charles Hoskinson to take a time out after reading his comments about the Ripple community and the XRP token where he called the community toxic and the XRP token having no technical value. You can wait a few days, reread this tweet, and think if you are sure that this is the combination of things you really want to say. The co-founder of Cardano believes that XRP Army is toxic. Army is toxic. Army is toxic. And expressed a desire to distance himself from toxicity. The confrontation began back in September after Hoskinson stated that the XRP community tried to invent a great conspiracy of blatant corruption between sex and Ethereum insiders, for which he was criticized by the XRP community. And after Hoskinson shared his belief that Ripple would settle the lawsuit with the U.S. financial regulator on December 15, the community erupted in criticism and called the Cardano co-founder a liar. Hoskinson believes that the XRP community ridiculed him for rejecting their conspiracy theories related to the case and states that the XRP army is ready to viciously attack a person who, frankly, did not attack them. Hoskinson tweeted, there is no point in inviting toxicity into your life. It's insulting and pointless. Even saying this now, you can hear mocking children's memes. Life is too short. Go ahead and cut it out. XARP does not provide partnership or technical advantages. The community is toxic and petty. I can live without it. The year 2022 became difficult for the cryptocurrency ecosystem when the leading cryptocurrencies fell significantly in price compared to last year. The price of XRP brought 58.7 losses to holders year. On year, for Cardano holders, the annual return is minus 78.8. One of the factors influencing the decline in the price of XRP is a lawsuit filed by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission against the payment giant Ripple. As 2020 too comes to an end, 
Experts believe that the sex lawsuit against Ripple will end with a positive outcome for the payment giant in the first half of 2023. Such an outcome could provoke bullish sentiment among urch erp holders and push the altcoin price higher. Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious creator of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and the architect of the new digital economy, knew about Ripple 13 years ago, in 2009. This was discussed in a video by Crypto Airy, a well-known blogger in the XRP community. Someone thought I was crazy and asked, Yai comments, how in the world Satoshi could have talked about a talked about a Tayenj Ripple in 2009. Please research Ryan Fugger and Ripple Pay. This opinion was confirmed by Ripple's technical director, David Schwartz. Yeah, Ryan Fugger didn't have the technology to create decentralized assets, so instead he built a decentralized system consisting of multiple centralized assets that could interact. Ripple as a decentralized payment system was invented by Fugger back in 2004 and was called Ripple Pay. Over time, Fugger passed the concept on to Chris Larson and Jed McCaleb, but that's another story. According to Schwartz, Ryan Fugger at that time did not have the technology to create decentralized assets, so he built a peer, peer system consisting of interacting centralized assets. Lawyer James Phelan added that, at the same time, all other lawyers continued to participate in the process. According to James Phelan's Twitter post, lawyer Rodrigo Sierra has filed a motion to participate in the trial. Sierra filed a petition for pro-hack vice on behalf of Amicus Curia Paradigm Operations, El Pro Hacks Vice is a legal term for adding a lawyer to a case in a state where he is not authorized to do so, unless he is engaged in unauthorized legal practice. Earlier, the investment company Paradigm, specializing in cryptocurrencies, filed a petition asking for permission to file an amicus opinion in an ongoing lawsuit. Attorney Jeremy Hogan answered a user's question regarding the XRP law suite. The user asked if the SEC would file for review of the summary judgment before appealing it. Hogan said the commission could move on to a second review. He added, however, that he doubted the SEC would appeal after the loss. So far, it looks too dangerous. Hogan said that if the SEC loses the appeal, it will become the supervisory authority. This could lead to the SEC losing the case in the Second Circuit. Hogan believes that the Securities and Exchange Commission will not take risks as it would be reasonable to act here. However, the Commission can then focus on the exchange and fraud taking place in the crypto market. After the failure to prevent and take action against Spaff and Fax, the XRP lawsuit became more important than ever for the Commission. At the moment, Ripple and the SEC have appealed to District Judge Annalisa Torres with a request not to send Exerf's lawsuit to court and rule in their favor in summary proceedings. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.